Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to give you a real quick update on one of the areas I planted up earlier this spring. I only used two different types of plants and I've been really thrilled with how they've grown and how much color they've provided to this spot. So I started with four six foot bamboo teepee trellises that I anchored kind of equally spaced in this area. I planted three tangerine slice appeal thumbergias, also called, called black eyed Susan vines alongside the bottom of each of the teepees. So that's all, there's just three plants on this teepee and I'm just so thrilled. I love the way the arms kind of reach out. I haven't done any training or pruning on these at all. So you can see that they're kind of like growing into, <laughs> into the flower beds. They're kind of like a ground cover slash climbing vine. Um, but I think that's really pretty kind of intermixed because the color of the salvia, this is called rock and deep purple salvia, and the color of the thumbergia is just absolutely beautiful together. So I would definitely recommend these as either pot or landscape plants. This is the first year I've ever grown the tangerine slice appeal. Um, so this was a completely brand new experience for me. I planted them in the landscape and in a couple of containers um, kind of as spillers and they've both done really, really well. Um, the rock and deep purple I planted for the first time last year in a container and it did really great. Honeybees and the hummingbirds love this plant and they get so big that I feel like they're a really good landscape plant as well because they take up a lot of space. You don't need to plant a ton of them in order to have a really good impact. So this whole area is on drip. Um, it gets water every single day. Um, now that it's starting to cool off, we'll start tapering that water off. The weird part about this bed, so this hasn't been 100% successful, um, although it's still nicely colored up, but you can see that like the growth is amazing, amazing, and then it like kind of uh, like tapers off toward the end here. They're all in the same drip, so I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm gonna do some testing once I pull everything out. I'm gonna run the water and make sure that like Maybe the uh, tubing didn't get cut or pinched at some point. I can't tell right now with all the plants in there. I mean, they look okay. They look like decently healthy. You can see on the salvia that their leaves are a little bit more yellow. So it's possible that the lawn sprinkler is over, like um, over spraying a little bit too much on this end. So this is gonna require some troubleshooting after we pull everything up, which we're not gonna be doing for quite a long time because both of these plants will last into a pretty heavy frost. So the other thing about this side is that this is kind of a wind tunnel. So we've had some pretty horrendous windstorms this summer and this thing has collapsed a couple of times. Um, not fully down to the ground, but like it's kind of folded up on itself. So I've had to reinforce it a, a couple of different times. Also this willow tree grows so fast that I have to kind of keep it all the ways trimmed up because it wants to come down and curl up inside uh, the trellis, like kind of tra <laughs> trains itself onto the trellis. So that's been a little bit of an issue, but all in all, I mean, it's been such a beautiful project. The one thing I wanted to point out about the salvia that I think is probably one of its best points to me, well, other than the fact that the flowers are beautiful, the foliage is wonderful looking, when these are done blooming, the calyx, which is what holds the petals, like it holds these petals in, see right there, the calyx stays a really dark purple color. So it almost gives the effect that the plant is still in bloom when it's actually not. So they don't brown. They don't brown, which means you don't have to come in here and deadhead them. So there is absolutely no maintenance that's required for this plant other than weekly fertilizing. So that's the only thing I have done is I come in, um, I fertilize them once a week. I think I accidentally skipped one week there in the middle of summer. I kind of forgot about it, um, which happens. But all in all, they've received you know, like consistent water, consistent fertilizer, no pruning whatsoever, no deadheading. So I wanna show you around the backside here, how they're kind of trailing on the ground. <laughs> you can tell I haven't done any pruning at all and we're starting to lose some leaves on the willow tree um, that's, you know, over there, but they've just done <laughs> so well. Like they really like this spot. Otherwise, I don't think they would be growing this quickly, but the color is just absolutely beautiful. Now one could, come in here and keep these trimmed and keep them nice and tame. We don't use this walkway very often, obviously. So I just let them grow and do their thing. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I think it's important to see how plants grow, how they perform, what struggles I've had with them in terms of, you know, maybe my watering isn't the same at the end and how different they can look if that's, you know, skewed a little bit. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and we will see you in the next video. Bye.